message from this week's Parsha, Parsha Mishpatim. When I was younger, we used to play in the street. We used to have bicycle games that we would play in. There was a spot on the street where a uh, root had broken through the cement sidewalk and it had created a great ramp uh, in which we would try and ride our bicycles as fast as we possibly could down the street and up over the ramp so that we could catch some air. And I remember this was awesome except for the first time that I had done it in which I was very very nervous and I was afraid that if my bicycle took flight and it didn't land properly that I would probably fall and get hurt and so I was very afraid of doing it and then my brothers who had always encouraged me to go beyond my limits uh, said come on come on come on just do it just do it and I'm pretty sure that's where Nike got the idea from about just doing it but it did take a certain amount of belief in myself that I would be able to accomplish this great uh, physical feat and I did do it and it turned out that I got a tremendous amount of air and I really took flight and it was great uh, of course until I landed and then my bicycle wobbled a little bit, I think I fell. But it doesn't matter because the idea was that sometimes it takes a tremendous amount of faith and commitment and desire to do things that are maybe beyond our capacity. In this week's parsha, Moses goes up on the mountain again and he says to the Jewish people, I'm going to bring you more commandments, I'm going to bring you more rules to follow. And the Jewish people's response to that isn't, you know what, ten is enough. Their response is, as we see in the 24th chapter of the book of Exodus, they say, They're going to say, we're going to do, and we will listen. It becomes the classical commentary for why we need to try things first, and then maybe figure out what they mean later. Abraham Joshua Heschel refers to this not as a leap of faith, but a leap of action that in our lives sometimes we have to try things. In the Eitz Chaim Chumash, the wonderful commentary on the bottom of the page suggests that there are lots of things that we do without even understanding where they might lead us. We have children, we get married, all with the understanding that we believe it's gonna turn out great, but we have no idea what will really be. We have no idea what kind of children we will have. We don't know what kind of person we really have married until we have done it. There are plenty of things in life that we have to try and then understand how well we get to it. When I was younger, we used to do a lot of drills in the basketball team that I played for. And we would try layups, and we would do foul shots, and we would do free throws. All in the hopes that when it came game time, we would know what we were doing and we'd be able to execute those skills well. And I remember repeatedly saying to the coach at times, can we just play already? Can we just play already? And that uh, excitement, that energy towards playing the game is what propelled us in game time to do our very best. Well, this for the Jewish people is game time. It's the moment where the Jewish people say, Na'asev and Yishma, we're going to do it. And then I believe that we'll grow to understand the values and the commitments and the underlying principles that will elevate our lives. Understand that just as those days riding my bicycle, I needed to have the confidence to go forward, the belief to take flight, so too. This week's parsha says the Jewish people have confidence to take flight and they have the capacity to do it, to make this world a better place. <laughs>